This Space Maker video is going to be looking at the wind analysis tool. Uh, this for me is a fun one because you can start to look at the comfort and direction. Now at the moment I don't have anything running here. Um, this is just the wrap analysis. I want to move into the proper analysis one here. So I'm just going to go back to buildings and I'm going to do a quick design. So you've got line edited, polygon, auto buildings. I'm going to use the auto buildings and I'm going to pick um, part of the site. I'm just going to make sure I've got a division line here that should be running and I'll just try that again. Auto buildings. There we go. So there's my auto buildings and I'm going to grab that and I want this one to be um, these uh, lamellas. Uh, so just simple buildings but I'm going to crank this up to say 16 stories and um, keep it on three. Um, the building width I'll keep the same. The length we can maybe make these a bit more um, linear. Uh, the angle I'll just leave at the moment and we could even uh, stagger these as well. So let me stagger them. Okay, well, um, keep this really simple. Okay, so these are my uh, buildings. I'll just um, apply them. We won't get into apartments today because the goal is to uh, look at wind wake analysis. So I'm just going to get rid of the one on the end and just flick into my plan view. Here, again, you can uh, rotate that building. So you can go here, grab that edge, and I'll just um, put it at the 320 mark and um, just grab that and move the building. Make sure I get the whole thing. Do that again. Okay. So the whole, whole point of this is I want to have something a bit more interesting here. Um, and also you can right click and you can uh, copy or duplicate a move. So I'll do duplicate a move, control D. And didn't like me today. Here we go. So I did duplicate, just did a move. So here's going to be my uh, three towers. And the reason I've done them this way is I want to have some sort of interest around the wind. And... Um, I have also added existing buildings here and I'll turn off the vegetation for now. So here we have our design. We want to go to the Analyze tab and we want to run the uh, the wind tool. Now this one will take a bit more time when you go to use it in the Analysis tab as opposed to the Rapid Analysis. And I'm just going to ignore that one for the moment. So here we have um, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. And if you've ever been to certain sites where there is a lot of wind, um, when you walk through those gaps there, it can almost blow you off your feet. So um, there is some hidden geometries. So the one that I've just turned off here, um, I will leave them on for now. We're going to hit the... Um, analysis here so that's the center of the site and then also run the flow one in the background so those two are running and i'll just pause because it's going to take 35 minutes but um just to note you've got the the basic comfort one here and then when you go to the flow component this starts to look at the velocity so the meters per second and um you know the high velocity is going to be you know the eight nine ten meters per second of wind scooping through there so we're going to be looking for mainly these points and then we can also start to look at the, the source and the direction of where it's coming from um there are other things you can start to look at here um here we have the location um, the open street map data and um, if you do need to know more there's stuff uh, in the back end of the settings, so just here in the settings while that's calcing, there is um, stuff to do with the engine behind this, and it's the open foam engine. So you'll you'll find here I've got most of the settings 
uh, left to the, the default, but you can learn more about this sort of stuff. Um, I'm looking at eight wind directions. Um, it's set hardwired here at 1.75 meters above the ground and the uh, surface roughness. That is automatic. Um, sometimes when you go to a wind tunnel, you'll see um, little upstands um, to add a bit of turbulence um, as the wind travels down the wind tunnel to hit the building. So um, there's some stuff sort of happening here. And then if you want to know more about um, how this is all worked out, you can click on this link and it talks more on the pedestrian comfort. So I'll be pausing, letting it run, and we want to see the sort of output. Uh, more here from the team on how this analysis works. More here on the background of what each one of these settings uh, means. And then um, some information on the velocity here. So I'll be letting that run, and uh, we'll pause and come back in the 35 minutes once it's uh, complete. So uh, we now have the analysis complete, and here we have an uncomfortable pinch point. So we're looking at the comfort area, um, and isn't too bad in these areas here. Uh, now what we can do is look at the flow component, and I'll just pan across a little bit. And you start to see the vectors of the wind coming in over that side. So again, um, here are the higher components in purple, but it doesn't look too bad. So um, other things we can do here is you can start to select the different directions of where that wind's coming from. So this one, for example, um, and uh, what's interesting here, uh, so I thought maybe we'll get wind hitting in here, but what's happened is the Bajark Ingalls building here has actually added a bit of a, a buffer here. So that's quite, uh, quite nice. And then uh, if we you know, look at different angles here coming in, um, off the water. Again, we don't have too many points of, of concern. And because we have this existing building buffer here, that, that's blocking it as well. So um, some interesting results here. We are shielded. So perhaps if I'd orientated the buildings a different direction, maybe facing the park, we might get um, different results. But we can see that um, we're not too bad in terms of the velocity or the comfort. Nothing seems to be uh, too uncomfortable except for this point, pinch point around here. So that is the wind analysis tool covering the comfort and flow for uh, these three buildings uh, here stacked on the site.